if you have somebody who's collapsed, what determines whether they're going to survive like that is how long it takes to get the heart beating again. One of Vancouver's most grueling hikes is sharing the importance of providing quick access to automated external defibrillators, saying these emergency devices could be life-saving on a challenging trail like this one. Metro Vancouver decided to install the AEDs on the grouse grind um, after several conversations that we'd had with um, the District of North Vancouver Fire and Rescue Services, uh, along with North Shore Rescue. Supervisor of Park Operations Tyler Langaloo says there have been past incidents of cardiac arrest on the grouse grind, and having quick access to defibrillators will avoid similar situations from occurring in the future. We get over 250 visitors every year on the grouse grind. It's a steep, challenging trail and, um, you know, difficult terrain. Known as Mother Nature's Stairmaster, the grouse grind climbs 800 meters and includes 2,830 stairs. It's, it's grueling. There's, it's constant elevation. There's not really any flat sections. There's obviously no down descending sections, so you don't really get a chance to catch your breath. Doesn't matter how many times you've done it. It's always a challenge. Cardiologist Andrew Cron says when an individual goes into cardiac arrest, the heart stops pumping because it is going so fast, it doesn't have time to produce proper blood flow. What the defibrillator does is it, it uh, records and detects that very rapid, dangerous heartbeat, and then gives a shock to restart the heart. Hikers can access defibrillators at the one quarter, halfway, and three quarter markers of the trail to provide quick access for anyone experiencing a cardiac arrest emergency. They're easy to use. Um, they'll actually tell you what to do and you won't do harm and you have the chance to save someone's life. In North Vancouver, Lauren Stallone, City News.